Good morning, vinyl community. It's me, JC. Mofi in the mail. <laughs> this has been a pretty popular segment. I hope you guys are enjoying it. It seems to be getting a ton of views. Um, before, I used to just open them and listen to them and show them my vinyl finds. But when I do get one of these in, I feel like maybe I should make it more of a special segment. Uh, I don't know which one this is. I do have two Mofis on, the, in, on order that I've ordered um, that have not come in. So this is one or the other. I guess we're going to wait and see. I didn't track it because I wanted to be surprised. But to be honest with you, there's one that I'm really hoping that it is. And those of my hardcore subscribers know what it is because I've been pining over it for quite some time. So here we go, I cut it open. Let's see what it is. Yes, all right. Blues for Allah. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna do an unboxing, I'm gonna open it up, we're gonna take a look at it. Hopefully this one isn't cracked or wrong labels or something. And then I'm gonna go grab the OG. I'm gonna listen to this, listen to the OG, do some sound comparisons and let you know which one sounds better. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up. We're gonna look at the cover and I'll compare it to the cover later. Um, I mean, it's a beautiful cover. I mean, this is probably the Grateful Dead. It's my favorite cover of theirs, if you wanna see. Like there's no pixelation in the color cover. It looks pretty amazing. Let's pray that it's not cracked. Open it slowly. Let's take a look. Oh, it's beautiful. It looks beautiful. All right. The, oh, yeah, and I've got number 3,390. So there originally was 3,000 pressed of these. I am wondering if they're going to go back and do another pressing of American Beauty, Working Instead. Um, oh, look at this. Oh, liner notes, the rare Mobile Fidelity liner notes. It's got the same insert that we have seen for quite some time. And then the poly sleeves. So I'll put this here. And then on the other side, we've got the same insert. And we've got the poly sleeves. All right, guys, so I'm going to hit pause. I'm going to go listen to this. I'm going to pull out the OG. We'll compare them. We'll see which one we like better. I'll be back in a second. It's going to be hours for me, but it'll be a second for you. All right, guys. Guys. I've had some great afternoons, but spending your afternoon listening to one of your favorite albums of all time, it does not get much better than that. Um, so, man, did I love this. Oh, my goodness. Now, you know, I'm just going to go out of limb, guys, and tell you that I'm extremely biased. This is probably one of my favorite Grateful Dead records, and it is a great record. For those of you uh, that are probably Grateful Dead novices, that maybe have, you know, American Beauty and uh, Working Men's Dead, which I love those albums also. I'm not trying to take away from those albums. Um, you know, go listen to the first two tracks. The first track is Help Is On The Way, Slipknot, and it goes right into Franklin's Tower. I mean, it's just fantastic. Now, I love the OG Press. I've had it for years, as you can imagine. I cherish it. I will never part with this OG Press because... It was actually given to me by a uh, Grateful Dead friend. Um, so one of the ladies I work with was a huge Grateful, her boy, her brother was a huge Grateful Dead fan. And um, she said when he passed that he had, you know, converted most of his stuff to CDs, but he still had a few albums and he wanted me to have it. He wanted another Grateful Dead fan to have it um, because he knew that that person would cherish it. And I do cherish it. So I will never get rid of this pressing. And I absolutely love it. Um, but man, does this sound great. <laughs> uh, first off the cover. I know it's got the glare there. But right there. Um, you can see the cover is very well represented. I do feel like this one is slightly darker. But not in a way where they made it darker to avoid pixelization. I just think they, they look at the color of the dress. It really pops. Or the, I don't know if it's a dress or not. But like whatever that person, the robe is wearing. Um, and the dark green behind. Beautiful, beautiful cover. And then the back cover also is very well represented, as you can probably see. It looks fantastic, right? You got it? Okay. Uh, obviously, the original is not a gatefold, where this is a gatefold and it says Blues for Allah inside. 
um, big difference. It, there was a big difference. Even though I do love the sound quality on the OG pressing, it's about a 45 minute album. And um, that's perfect for a single disc, right? It's you uh, generally, once you, um, you get over the 50 minute mark, you definitely start to notice uh, more inner groove distortion and compression. When you get something ridiculously long, but like Def Leppard Hysteria, you really start to notice that. But on the original pressing, I didn't really notice anything. It didn't really need to be a double vinyl. On the mobile fidelity pressing, it is a double vinyl and it's at 45 RPMs. And what I noticed a big difference is like the separation between the instruments, how clearly you could hear the instruments, how clearly Jerry's voice was, you know, when he's like, roll away the do. I was like, yes, man, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I listened to it twice. <laughs> I listened to it in its entirety. And then I did my sound comparison. And then I was like, okay, I'll go film. And I'm like, no, let's go listen to it again. So I listen to it again. It's just fantastic. I absolutely love it. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of my OG press, as you know, uh, but I love both. But go get it. If you can go get this, if you own one Grateful Dead album, go buy this one. Um, it's great. It's fantastic. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Join me tomorrow with something new. Peace. Rock out. I love you. 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 Bye, guys. Go check it out.